Hey, so it is like 2.30 in the morning here and I've just finished getting ready and finished packing my bags and I'm about to leave to go to Dublin Airport to fly to London and I'm super excited. It's been over a year since I've been to London and I'm going shopping today and then see five seconds of summer tomorrow and see Slice of London on Sunday and Monday and I get to see Gianna and I get to hang out with my mom and um, yeah it should be a good weekend so I'm going to go get my mom and dad and get to hit the road to Dublin so see you later just arrived at Westfields, like one of my favourite shopping centres in the whole world and I cannot wait to get inside and start shopping. Woo. We have taken a little break from the shopping and are having a cheeky Nando's and I'm so excited, it looks, oh my god, heavenly. Oh. We just popped into the Disney store in Westfields and I'm in like my heaven like oh my god like I don't think I see a child as excited as I am and look they have Anna and Elsa which is really Sarah and me <laughs> and I, I chose the perfect day to wear I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm a Disney princess and I'm in my heaven <laughs> so we need to get back to Disney World Florida ASAP <laughs> I absolutely need this Olaf mug that is in the Disney store. Look how freaking awesome it looks. I swear I am 21. <laughs> the biggest top shop in the world. I'm about to go tackle it. Wish me luck. So we're back in the hotel after our full day of shopping and we are exhausted, absolutely exhausted. Um, I didn't do very much shopping as you can see. Um, I'm watching Big Brother, doing a little work and then I'm going to get into a bath. I bought um, a lovely bath bomb today in Lush and I can't wait to try it out. Oh god, I was really close up there, sorry. Um, so yeah. I'm going to have my first ever lush bath bomb and this is absolutely, the smell of it is unbelievable. I, I cannot wait to get into that. It was the comforter, yeah the comforter uh, bath bomb from lush and it's divine, absolutely but as pink, maybe pink. <laughs> the bath is all pink and sudsy and it smells delicious. 
well, I'm on my way to Wembley SSE Arena to see Five Seconds of Summer. Uh, Gianna's probably already there. We said like we'd be there at like 12. It's probably nearly half 12 because it took so long getting ready and trying to take photos of my outfit, which didn't turn out so great because I feel like I look ridiculous today. But uh, I'm so excited. Uh, hopefully, we're like, the first to start queuing and be near the, the barrier, near the stage. So, yay! You can see in the distance, oh wait, focus, oh no, focus, oh there we go, in the distance there's Wembley Arena, is it, or Wembley Stadium, I don't know what you call these pitches over here, um, hopefully one day I'll get to Summertime Ball, or some concert that would be in Wembley Stadium. Wait for five stars, after six hours of being in a queue.
I just got home from Five Seconds of Summer at Wembley and uh, it ended early unfortunately. There was no encore tonight because Michael set his hair on fire due to the pyrotechnics. Um, they're filming for their DVD so they added pyrotechnics to the show and poor Michael accidentally jumped up onto the higher part of the stage where the pyrotechnics were going off and his hair went on fire. Now from when we saw it, like the side of his face and his hair went on fire but it just lit for a split second and was smoke but the poor guy ran up the stage with a towel over his face and Ashton came out like about five minutes later saying there's no encore, Michael got hurt but he's okay and um, we waited around afterwards to see them leaving and we saw their car leave, um, so we're assuming Michael's okay. I hope you are Michael. It's like, I know you're not going to be watching this, but I hope you are Michael. <laughs> um, hope you're okay not watching my vlog. Anyway, um, it was so good tonight. Like, oh my god, like I thought Dublin was good, but London was, oh my gosh, unbelievable. I'm so proud of those boys. And it was being recorded for a DVD, like a DVD. These guys I saw in Coco in November 2013 had a thousand people there. Tonight there was like 10,000 plus there to see them. It was insane. Um, about the DVD, a uh, cameraman came over and stood in front of me for when she looked so perfect was on, so I could be in the DVD, which is was totally amazing um he was like filming me for a good like two minutes so hopefully fingers crossed i'll make an appearance in the, their dvd uh, i am absolutely wrecked it's been a long day i queued for six hours with gianna and her friend hannah uh it was so nice catching up with gianna as well it's been over a year since i've seen her um but yeah i'm absolutely exhausted now so i'm going to go get ready for bed have something to eat and uh plan for tomorrow i'm going to see the lion king tomorrow at my mom and then we're going to probably go see some sites in london and then just have a chill day tomorrow but for now goodbye we're off to see the lion king musical today and i'm super excited because it's my first ever musical to see in london even though i've been here like more than 10 times now <laughs> and i've never seen a musical uh so really excited to go see that Okay, so we're just back from The Lion King and it was unbelievable, like, oh my god. I don't know why I haven't gone to see it sooner. It was so good. Um, we're just back from it now. Um, we did pop to the SSC Arena before um, to see if there was any tickets available for tonight's show at C5 Seconds of Summer and we met this lovely girl um, who had two free tickets. So, Gianna is on her way. I changed and I'm going back to SSC Arena to see Five Seconds of Summer again. So my 11th time. But yeah, going to see them tonight. So going to run over there now. So see you later. <laughs>
forgot to vlog last night when I came home from Five Seconds of Summer concert. I was just so tired that I went like straight to bed. It was so good, like incredible. Um, getting free tickets to that concert is just ridiculously crazy. <laughs> um, uh, I'm sad that it's over. It'll probably be a, another year till I see them again. Um, another year till I see Gianna again. Uh, but it was good fun. Two nights. Only came off one and got two. Um, today we are going home. But before we go home, we're going to go to Buckingham Palace and all those typical London landmarks. And uh, then we head to the airport to go home. I don't want to leave London. Bridge and there's the tower bridge I think I've got that right I hope so and I'm actually standing on the bridge for more than like two seconds and my heart is racing like mad if you don't know I have a, I have a fear of bridges and hot water down there it doesn't look so great so I think we're going to swiftly move along <laughs> as fast as we can <laughs> came down a bit closer to the tower bridge right there you can see it a bit better than you did on the London bridge and I'm even closer to water, which I'm not very happy about. So, quickly moving along. We're at Big Bang in Westminster now. It's very hard to fit myself and Big Bang in the shot. Oh, sort of, there, there we go. We're too lazy to cross the road and go over and take proper pictures at London Night. So, here's the view of London Night. We're not going to go on I went on it like a few years ago at my dad's. No, Buckingham Palace. I wonder if. Prince Harry is there. It's like, hi Prince Harry, I'm single and a Protestant, you can marry me. And then I can move in there and hang out with the Queen and be best friends with Kate. 